Hey, you, come closer. Come closer. Did you ever thought about using plugins to make your life easier? Yes, I did. I did. One of the coolest things that we can use with DaVinci Resolve on our iPad is plugins. We can use third-party manufacturers. I mean, even we have a transition pack, but there's one company that is Motion VFX. They have a lot of different plugins that you can use. So especially if you want to speed up your workflow and you don't want to create all by yourself, then plugins come handy. And especially now in a time when we have Final Cut Pro on the iPad, which still doesn't have any plugin support and we can use them here on DaVinci Resolve. So in today's video, I just want to show you how easy it is to actually install plugins from Motion VFX. So just to show you, Motion VFX has this amazing website. And the cool thing is it's not just uh, plugins that they make for DaVinci Resolve. It's also for Final Cut, for Adobe. You find a lot of different types of Motion VFX uh, plugins. Even for example, the YouTuber MKBHD has a plugin support here with Motion VFX. And the cool thing is here on our iPad, we have an app, it's called M Installer. It's this one here. So if I open this one up and I have my plugins that I loaded, by the way, there's a couple of free ones that you can start using right away, like the matrix effect, for example. This is one of the free ones that you can use. I have a link here in the description. You can just click that. But if you want to install anything super simple. Let's say, for example, here the MTuber 2. I can just click here on download and it will download everything in the background. You don't have to copy it to DaVinci Resolve. It will give you this message complete. Now just open DaVinci Resolve. So I have to restart my DaVinci Resolve. So I come in here and close it again. And now I come to DaVinci Resolve. And the cool thing is now that all of the transitions and effects from this one pack is now available here in my iPad as well. So for example, if I come to the edit page here, tack, edit page, and I come to, let's say for example here, effects, and I open this one up, I see here motion VFX. And if I click down, I see all of the packs that I now installed. Like here, MTuber 2, we just installed that pack here. And if I click this one, I can even now, if you have a mouse or the trackpad, you can just hover over and see each of the transitions, what they're doing here on my iPad. And the cool thing about Motion VFX is that they, for all kinds of different things, they have an effect pack. If it's transitions or documentary style, or if you want to use something for your YouTube channel, there is so much value in all of those packs and it's super, super easy to install them. So I put a link into the description down there. This channel here gets a kickback if you actually decide to get one of the packs, but I think it will make your editing work anyway faster. I will have a lot of fun the next couple of days testing a couple of those plugins and see which one are working, which one not, but most of them are already supported on the iPad. And that's the cool thing. And that's also why I recommend this uh, plugins today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye. Oh, and of course, if you got a pack for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, you can also use it in DaVinci Resolve on the desktop. It's a no brainer, right? But I have to say that because some people don't know.